bougie. Do my dance for the load, I'm groovy. In the load, use me. I'm a lot like a movie. Got the brand for me, I'm choosy. I'm a lot like a movie. Got the brand for me, I'm. When I praise God, I'll never act bougie. Do my dance for the load, I'm groovy. You know I'm groovy. More than anything, don't use me. Price on my life, big flex. Hey. Yes, yo, money, money, my bro. Vilela, então. My brothers, bom dia, bom dia. Oh, God. <laughs> This is my spot. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am just waking up. Kenji is already gone to training and I'm about to go do my morning ritual and also work out before I begin work for the day. So each day I really spend the morning in the same way by spending time with myself and also God. And then of course going to the gym, like I said too. So I leave my stuff out the night before just so I don't have to fumble around or make decisions that everything can just be prepared for me and I can move into the day smoothly and also slowly. Also just take a second to appreciate this view. It is so beautiful and I just love living here so much. I'm going to be here for the next hour or so doing all the things which I'm going to share with you. But disclaimer, I have not had a spray tan in forever and I got one for a shoot last week and it is time for it to come off. So if you can see your girl's skin is looking a little crazy, just know I know and I need to really get my exfoliator on. So it is really important to me to schedule time with God because yes, I'm in a continuous relationship with God, but I'm also in a continuous relationship with Kenji too. And it is so important that we're spending that quality time together in order to really increase our intimacy with each other too. So that's exactly what I do with God. And I just love that we are guided through this life. Like God is really our guide and therefore it's really important for us to tune in to that guidance every single day because, you know, I don't want to get lost. I don't know about you. This next hour consists of a whole lot of prayer, meditation, worship. I will also go into journaling too, uh, which the majority of the time is just where kind of like I free flow my thoughts and whatever is coming through gets to go into this journal. And I also look back and flick through my journals too and it just reminds me how far God's really brought me. It's actually crazy. I'm also reading A Happy Pocket Full of Money. This is honestly one of my favorite books and I've read it like six times and every time I read it something new comes through for me so I definitely recommend it. And then I also every day read a page from this daily devotional Jesus Calling by Sarah Young and honestly If you are looking for a place to start your journey, this book is beautiful. Like, honestly, no matter what is happening in my life, it's like the pages know. You know what? Let me read it now, just so you can understand. It's like the pages know what's happening. The pages know what I'm moving through, what I've got to hear. And it is just the most amazing devotional. So today says, trust is a golden pathway to heaven. 
When you walk on this path, you live above your circumstances. My glorious light shines more brightly on those who follow the path of life. Dare to walk on the high road with me, for it is the most direct route to heaven. The low road consists of twists and turns in agonizing knots. There the air hangs heavy. The dark, ominous clouds predominate. Relying on your own understanding will weigh you down. Trust in me absolutely, and I will make your path straight. I mean, wait, that's exactly what we were just talking about. We were just talking about this too. Like, when you walk on this path, you live above your circumstances. That's why I spend time with God every day, because I want to make sure that I'm walking on the path that God has got for me, rather than the path that I may go down. Just see what I mean? I am going to drop the link in the description. You all just need to get this. Change my life. I literally buy it for everyone. And then I've also got the Bible here. And then I've also got the book, The Power of a Praying Wife too, uh, which sometimes I will flick through if I'm not feeling like called to pray on Kenji in a specific way. This allows me to kind of move through um, what may be going on and pray into that too. So that is all that I'm about to do. Yes, guys, so I'm just on my way to the gym and I want to introduce you to my brother, Bozo, you know? <laughs> hey, guys, this guy is one of the most hardworking players I've ever seen, bro. He actually inspired me to, to start coming to the gym in the mornings um, and get myself back on it and prepare my mind in the morning as well for, for the day. He's a prophet. He was prophet inspired me, man. Like, he's on it every single day. Um, I'm four times a week because I do like my sleep as well. So I'm on it four times a week, but this guy, he's there every day, bro. Before training, after training, um, even at home, I know that he does a lot of stretching and, and you can just see the, the rewards as well. He's, he's fit, he's active and he works hard, man. So if anybody's listening to this, keep working. Manginio. <laughs> this is another brother that just continues to work hard, man. Like, whatever's going on in his life, whatever's going on in football, like, he always gives his best. Another boy that inspires me a lot, man. Manginio, the model. <laughs> <laughs> to go for a run. Our housekeeper has just come, so always a good way to also get out of her way and of course, just the most amazing way to start the day too. And I'm also just so happy that it is sunny too. I mean, oh, where I go for my run is just, Perfect. 5k run is now officially done and I am now just walking back to the apartment whilst I'm answering all of my client and team messages. Do a vlog? A vlog? Fala, fala, man. Fala com o YouTube. Speak, bro. Speak to the YouTube family. Estamos aqui de manhã para treinar. Sim. Como habitualmente. Agora saiu do banho. Sim. Estou a me vestir. Muito frio hoje, sabes? Só. Isso. Muito importante. Muito. Andes? Andes? This, this, yeah, this is, you know, this it is, means, the... we cannot say, what is this? This is high, high is this, this is <laughs> privacy, privacy. I need my, you know, for the cold outside. I have to fight outside with the wind, you know? This bitch will never come back if I'm Yes. Oga! <laughs> my Zundia. Mais um dia, mais um dia, mais um dia, é tudo, pá. 
This is after training. These are the professional guys. Look at them. Robert Rodrigo, concentra. Bom. Look, look. Yeah. Hard work pays off. <laughs> yes, my YouTube fam. So, I just got home now, back from training. And I'm just gonna go and get Bella. The weather's good today, so I'm gonna tell her that we're gonna go on the scooters. I know that she's gonna be on our laptop, but I'm gonna make sure that she goes off it today. And we're gonna enjoy the weather out here in Porto. It's not been the greatest of weathers recently, so we're gonna go and make, a, make the most out of what we've been blessed with. Follow us along. BM Hill. Hello. Are you back? This is how she greets you when I get home. Look how excited she is. <laughs> just showing the people how you greet me when I get home. Yeah, well, you always distract me when you- Coffee, please. Home. Coffee, please. You show them what you really coffee. do, baby. Show me what you, show them what you really do. Here is what, here's not what I do. <laughs> I don't it, allow Kenji no, to distract honestly, my day. Why are you always on that? Because Kenji- But you're on Spotify. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because if you would know me, you would know that I always have music going on in the background when I'm working. I love that, baby. Nice music, though. Not And then Kenji comes in, and just because I've got the speaker on, this is what he does, okay? You ready? Bang the track on. Bang the track on. Hey! That's what Kenji puts on. Star boy. I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. Actually, like you know, working, and then what oh, he does baby, is I've he got an idea. In, what? Should we go on the scooters? Yeah, that's good. Yes. It's a beautiful day. I actually want to. We have to make the most out of it, baby. I know. I feel that too. Yes. This is how he spends the majority of his days. Can we go now? <laughs> Can we go now? You're not ready to go. Full charge. Charge. <laughs> That's mine, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can see why I said this one's mine. Because with Bella, you just never know. There's scratches on hers. She 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 bangs into things <laughs> all the time. She crashed on the scooter. I mean, we don't know what we did to be so blessed, but we must be doing something right. <laughs> okay, so one of mine and Ken's favourite thing to do is obviously to take the scooters along this beautiful view um, and then talk along the way if it's not windy, because if it's windy, you really can't hear each other. But yeah, it's just so free. It is, isn't it? Guys fishing, chilling. Even as Bella was just speaking before and said, we must be so blessed, what did we do? It's like, we didn't do anything to deserve this. Like, this is all by God's grace. Like, I always think to myself, like, how am I playing for the club that I'm playing at when it could be any player in the world? I know I've got a little bit of ability. <laughs> I, have got, I, have got, I have a bit of talent. Only but, a little bit but even with that talent, you know, you've got to continue to um, invest in that talent. And, you know, if there's anybody that is watching, watching this, like, invest in your talent. Um, but also, it's all by God's grace. It's all by God's grace that we get to live this life. But also, God will prompt you on your purpose if you listen closely enough to. Because I always said that I wanted to live abroad. I always said that I wanted to live near the sea. I always said I wanted the apartments that we've lived in too. Mm. And... That actually is lived out as our reality. But I believe that like God was preparing me and put that in my soul because God knew what was gonna happen and occur too. That is so good. And that's why he gives you the desires of your heart. Yes. We well, gotta make sure that there are God's desires and not yours. <laughs> because there's some things that I've desired to do which have gone absolutely awful too. So that's why you got to listen in, like really listen. <laughs> I appreciate you always. 
Suma da laranja, sem gelo, uma tá fez café com bombom, que é o bombom? Bombom com Nutella? Nutella. Nutella, tá bom. Nutella. Um Nutella, é uma café... Um chantilly? Chantilly. 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 Então, café com chantilly, café com Nutella. Tá bom. E uma panqueca. Suma de laranja, Sim, sem, sem gelo. gelo. E umas panquecas com... Panquecas com banana. É... Nutella. Tá bom? Tá bom? Ah, eu falo bem. You are so... Actually, you are very good. Eu, eu aqui, cinco anos, eu falo muito bem. But what actually it is, is you just read it off the menu <laughs> and then said it to her. And I could tell it. Tranquilo. I could tell that. Listen. Ov, ov, ov. Eu, cinco anos aqui, eu falo muito bem português. Fala com meu treinador, é, 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 minha amiga, minha, meus amigos. Eu falo bem. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Has a teacher ever changed your life? 100%. 100%. So two teachers that changed my life. One teacher is called Mr. Birch at APS. This guy. <laughs> You know why I loved him though? Because he was always so positive. He always spoke positive, he always spoke life. And even in primary school, like I felt like so encouraged like from him. And I can remember like even still this day my dad me and my dad we speak about him. You need an encouraging teacher, you just yeah, do. You really do. And another one that really impacted me was Mr. Whitaker. Did he? Whittaker, yeah, he was a Jamaican teacher. He, te he taught maths in our school. He's a little teacher as well. Yeah. And he uh, he really impacted me. Just the way he was, like, he was so always positive again. Mm -hmm. uh, and he had so much character about him, you know. He had his Jamaican accent and he, and he, I just loved him. We had a really good relationship. Also, Mr. Whitaker actually changed my perspective on life one day too because sitting in maths class he was like doing loads of different equations on the board and i couldn't understand why that equation equaled this and like i was questioning it and he said you know what sometimes you just don't need to know why and i was like oh my days my whole life i've like been asking why 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 and sometimes you just don't need to know it and you can get on with it Coffee with Nutella. Cafezinho. Uma cafezinho. Why did you order that when you don't like, I like chocolate? Coffee. I know, but Nutella, I thought, I saw it on the menu and I said, hey. I think that you like it because you like me and you know I like Nutella. Maybe I think of you when I drink it. <laughs> okay, come on. You are not. No. <laughs> you are not telling the truth. <laughs> Honestly, no matter what coffee I've ever ordered in this place, it's always come different to what I thought that it would come. On the menu, I thought that this was a full like cappuccino with but some is, whipped cream. That looks amazing. No, because it's just coffee in there. And yeah. I need milk or something. Let me try it. Let me try it. <laughs> Mine is crazy good. <laughs> well, look how cute these are. Come cheers with me, baby. <laughs> so even though it's um, super sunny and beautiful, it's still um, really cold. <laughs> Did you order a pancake or crepe? Kenji? I said pancakes. Oh my gosh. So that is now why we've got pancakes and not a crepe? No. It's not it, is it? That is not it's it. It's in the pancake. <sighs> it's not about this, it's about the tongue. Let's pray. Lord, bless us for you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Mato. Mato. It's got to do it for the ground, you know? <laughs> Scooter and Sunset Session. I love this. It's going to be the um, caption for today. I like that. <laughs> baby, go in there. Because you're a little baby, go in there. So, I want you to come here. 
basically it's going to be a walk in real very simple okay so i'm going to go there and you're going to record me okay okay got it these are the things we can't take for granted seriously Try someone like Big Flex, eh?